Alrighty then, I've got myself a four and a half pound pork loin or pork loin and I am going to try a recipe that has been making the rounds on Facebook called the pork carnitas. So a little meat and it calls for, this goes in your crock pot and the way it sounds it's dead easy. I'm going to cut this into six equal pieces or as equal as I can make it. Okay, I ain't so worried about that part. Then I'm going to add salt, pepper, oregano, cumin, eight cloves of crushed garlic, a medium onion quartered, three bay leaves, a lime juice, a large orange juice, and I'm going to save the spent halves and put it in the crock pot. And then I am going to cover and cook on low for eight to ten hours or till it pulls apart easily. And then I'm going to remove that pork and put it on a foil lined baking sheet and shred it. And then I'm going to put it across a baking sheet in a single layer. I'm going to put about a cup of the liquid in the slow cooker over it. And then I'm going to broil five to ten minutes or until it browns and gets a little crisp along the edges. So this can go on a taco, a burrito, a tortilla, an ensalada. Uh, I can even make nachos. So anyway, we're just going to wrap it in a tortilla with some of our homemade guacamole that I've got frozen. And I'm going to give it a whirl. Okay, it's easy. Let's hope it's good. Good is always the goal. So I managed to get seven semi-equal pieces. Then I've got my two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon cumin. I've got a medium onion quartered, three bay leaves, and an orange. So I'm going to sprinkle those in here. Got it on low. There's my salt. And it's our own oregano. We dried. Chunk in our bay leaves. Let's juice a lime. Not to be confused with a lemon. And wash your fruit when you get it. You do not know where it's been. If I go to another friend's home for dinner and inside something they have this with the little produce tag on it I'm like jeez it makes me mental wash your fruit and vegetables all right so here's some of our orange same thing wash your fruit because your knife slices through that I got a new cutting board after doing the pork when I chopped my onion and smushed my garlic pieces. It's a big orange. Ew. I put the macho on it. So here are my onions. And then here are some of my crushed garlics. Alright, so we got it. Two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon cumin, eight cloves of garlic crushed, one medium onion quartered, three bay leaves, one lime juiced, one large orange juiced. Stick your halves in there. Okay, got it all in there. Now I gotta mix it together with some some things. So I got my tongs, the word was escaping me moments ago, I referred to that as things. So I guess we'll just smush it around, turn some upside down, then I'm going to cover this and cook it, cook it, cook it, cook it. Get down there on y'all. So this is a Facebook recipe, carnitas, a friend of mine tried it, said it was great with a pork loin just leaner than a butt. So let's see how it goes. Can't hurt to try. Pork loin, pork butts, they're cheap and yummy. Alrighty then, it's been three hours and it has made a lot of its own liquid which I'm happy to see. I have turned these pieces around. 
uh, one time so it is making its own juice that you can see boiling away back there so about seven more hours to go <laughs> then we'll see how it is carnitas wowzer all I can tell you is these carnitas smell incredible as they're cooking it's making my husband mental so I don't plan on eating these till tomorrow so I'm gonna have to get my guacamole out of the freezer now so I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer but I did test the pieces and they're at 170 temp wise and they man the flavor is unreal the smell of this is simply tremendous so these are going to go in some tortillas man so this recipe is a keeper this carnitas is a keeper recipe I am not spreading this out in the broiler I'm just not going to do it it is delicious just the way it is my god it smells fantastic I just pulled out the orange rinds and I have one more bay leaf but he's up here on the side to get and then this crock pot is not difficult at all to fill but that is what it took to shred that meat but with pork I wanted to make sure it was at the right temperature oh yeah I'm fixing to eat this yep This made a lot of carnitas. So, when I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, because it's very dense and heavy, I want the cold to be able to get to the center. So I'm not super packing these containers, but while are you out, a little hole, same thing with potato salad, something very dense. I want the cold to be able to get to all of this, so they're not overfilled and I can ensure that that's going to be safe in my refrigerator. So this could not be more delicious. I completely dig a new recipe, particularly using something as affordable as pork. And if I were going to freeze this, but I'm not because my husband wants to have these for lunch. He really likes it. And he's smelled it all day as it's cooking. And he's totally chuffed about it. I would put these in a Ziploc bag not seal it kind of roll it up like I've done and then I would put it in a food saver bag and freeze it this would be outstanding in the evening in the winter to have roll up a tortilla add black beans uh, guacamole uh, rice anything to really really good so I'm happy to have a keeper recipe